Hi. It's Tuesday. How was yesterday? I'm telling you, those burpee with those jumps, <laughs> horrendous. And today is no different. We are going hard. It's season two finale. So your cardio today can either, with some weights, you're going to do a squat and a press and a front press. That's your strength, okay? So you can use a weight if you wish. I would use two weights, one in each hand. So you're going to squat down, really drive up, making sure your knees don't go over your toes. That's your strength component. Um, your cardio component, oh, I need that. Your cardio component is this. So you're going to take a lunge and stay down in like a runner's pose. Then you're going to knee in, stay down, switch, staying low. Knee in, stay down, switch. Again, knee doesn't go over the toe. So drive, drive. So again, leg work. So yesterday your legs are going to be tired. So you can always mix it up for that squat and that drive if you wish. I'm going to get some weights just in case I decide to do that. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to stay with the cardio, but I might have to do that. Right, what I need to explain today is if you have a T-bar, we're going to be using it very differently. I've never seen it used like this before. So um, you need a weight at the end and quite a bit of weight, a bit heavier than what you would normally use on the other side. Okay? You'll see what I'm going to do with them. Um, and you need a smallish 5, 2.5 if you want to even get more advanced to the side of your mat for later. Got it? <laughs> Lot to think about today. Okay, Tuesday. So you're going to start with either squat, press, or you're going to start getting that, that low position, knee first, then switch. Okay? Knee, then switch. Okay? Remember, knee switch. I'm going to take the first exercise. It's 12 minutes. That's it. That's all you've got to give me. 10 seconds. I'm going to start with the first one. So you need to kneel down. Let's get some shoulders involved. Three, two, one. So you come up. Try and get it so your T-bar is coming at the side of your body, just at the side of your shoulders. You might be able to put it up against your sofa. But this way... We can lift a lot more weight, and we're doing it single-armed as well. So it's awesome. And we're using our core to lift up and twist through. 27 seconds, up. Come on. Down. 20 seconds. You ever seen the T-bar be used like this before? No. It's awesome. Come on, go. 12 seconds. Mixing it up, challenging yourself. Bringing new things into the living room all the time. For three seconds, two, last one. Okay, that's yours. Let me take a little bit forward. Four, three, two, last one. So, switch me. So, are you using your T-bar or are you just using some weights? and kneeling and doing some shoulder presses for me. I want to get some nice shoulders involved. We don't do that many isolated shoulders. You've got to stay low. Yesterday your legs were a little bit tired. That's okay. 20 seconds. Come on. 15. I'll keep a flat back. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe. Keeping that strength on those big muscles, eight, five, three, two, last one, get you out of breath, next exercise, you're going to need to really concentrate on balance, so you start with your leg nearest the bar, come up, get your balance, kick through, so you're doing a deadlift on one leg, down, down, so if you don't want to use the other weight on the other side, it's absolutely fine, you don't have to, you just got to concentrate on keeping a nice flat back, keeping all the weight on one leg and balancing, oh, trying new things all the time, I'm trying to push you out your comfort zone all of the time, 
Eight seconds. Three, two. Oh, you'll feel that in your glute. Gosh, you'll feel that in your glute. Get a quick, quick pat on the, on the bottom just to get it going. Ready? Let's go. So, knee, switch. I'm always trying to bring new things to make your workout a bit more interesting. So when you press play, it's not just the same stuff all the time. You're working differently. You're moving differently. You're working harder all the time. Really lunge back. Stay low all the time. 15 seconds. Can you balance for me? Pull your abs in. 10. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, we need to do the other side now. So, again, you're going to balance better on one side than you do the other. Oh, get some air. So, come up. Kick. You might wobble on the first couple, that's okay. <laughs> Start the camera moving. I can't focus. I can't concentrate when it's moving around in front of me. Come on, I'm concentrating, that's why I'm a bit quiet. Doesn't happen very often. I'm basically balancing on one leg, doing a deadlift and a shoulder press, which we just did. Using my core, using everything to control the move. Four, oh, three, two. Oh, that is different, all over different. So last time you're going to need your bar so you can put it out of the way. Three, two, one, let's go. Knee, switch. Come on, go. 40 seconds. Jump high on that. Jump, but you stay low. It's like high and low. Power. Power. Use your calves to lift you up off the floor. 20 seconds. Come on, balance for me. Got to get used to balancing. 10. Four. Push. That's one. Right, now we've done legs. Now we've done arms. Let's hit your core. Four seconds. You can elevate this or not. It's entirely up to you. So one side only. You're going to do touch your knee, touch your foot, touch your, sorry, touch your elbow, touch your knee. Relax. Touch your foot, touch your elbow, touch your knee with your hand. So we're doing three touches this time. Elbow, touch with your hand. Keeping the emphasis on the abs. Touch your foot, touch your elbow, touch your knee. You can do this on the floor. Foot, elbow, knee. I want you to keep that emphasis. Elbow, knee. Being very careful on your equalizers that you, you're on the part that your foot should be on. Three, two, last one. Abs. Ready? Let me see it. Go. Knee. Switch. Oh, knee. Switch. Come on, push. Come on. Try and keep that plank. Remember, touch your toe, touch your elbow and knee, then touch your hand on your knee. Three point plank, elevated. 20 seconds. Show me some more. My legs are wobbling. That's okay. Just got to focus down. Come 
Come on, go. Five, four, three, two, that's one. Okay, this next one, you can either do on your feet or on your knees. It's a very advanced move. We're going to start to work in towards one arm push ups, but we're going to do triceps today. So stretch out as far as you can, and you're going to come up on your toes, tricep dip. So you don't put any weight in the hand that's in front of you, that's just holding you up. The rest of the weight goes in that tricep. Twenty-seven. Strength, cardio, abs, all over it. Twenty seconds. Gotta make sure your elbow goes back. Twelve. Put if you need to. And this is your alternative, by the way. Just in case I forget. That's your alternative. You put your knees down. Three, two. It works your strength, your core, it works your arms, triceps, all your body. And we're working towards that progression of being able to hold our own body weight on one arm. So hopefully, soon enough, you're going to get strong enough to do it without the arm in front. But this is what I'm trying to teach you. I'm trying to get you to work towards trying new things, which will lead to bigger and better things all the time. 30 seconds. <sighs> Sweat is pouring off me. That's awesome. 20. <sighs> Got to make sure you touch the floor every time. <sighs> Got to get that starter lunge. <sighs> that shows you down there. <sighs> Pull your abs in. 10. Come on, a couple more tricep dips for me. <sighs> Five. <sighs> Three. Two. <sighs> I know, a little bit horrendous, a little bit awesome. So stretch all the way out, then come up and then get that tricep working. Come on, go. It's your last set of lunges or your last set of strength work, squatting, forward, Raise. I'm so much stronger on my right than my left. 15 seconds. 12. 10. Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2. It's your last round. Let's do it. We don't quit. About the swear, don't worry about the swear. Liquid, awesome. That's all that is. Let's go. So knee, switch it. Knee just goes to show it's real. We don't just go through the motions here. We push together. Remember the deal. You're my training partner. I'm your training partner. What would be the point of me just turning up, showing you the exercise, and then going, enjoy your workout? That's not a training partner. A training partner's right there with you going through every muscle with you, going through every pain with you, going through every rep, knowing how it feels when the beep goes. That's why I do these myself. I wanna know how it feels. I wanna know it's working. Come on, 10 seconds. Four, then you're gonna hear that sweet, sweet sound. Two. some new moves in there some of them might have felt a bit awkward but don't you worry because you're going to do it all over again tomorrow and you'll be awesome at it and by Friday it's going to be like one of those new moves that we can throw in at any time and you'll know what it is enjoy your day remember you should have done Monday and you should have done Tuesday today it's your last week so really put it in this week um high five have a good day bye